My hair is doing a weird thing today. I can't find a hat, so you guys are just going to have to deal with it. Now, today we're talking about Arkmoto, ticker symbol FUV, and this company is struggling quite a bit. In fact, the stock price is down about 13.7% as we speak just today, making new 52-week lows of $3.09, down over 70% in the past year. In the past five years, and this is quite notable, the company is down over 40%. What does it mean? Well, it means that investors and shareholders five years ago were more optimistic about the future of this company than they are today. This is a big deal, and it means that Arkimoto is likely struggling quite a bit. Now, today on that topic, we're covering what we was just released in terms of cash raising. The company needs and has said that they need to raise this capital incredibly quickly and aggressively. Now they've just announced some kind of capital raising. So this is a big deal, especially in a stock that is down because of the capital and the finances of this company, right? So if the stock is down because of finances and the company announces something about finances, it's incredibly important. Now this was posted by LG Investments and Research on Twitter. He's the one that brought it to me in the first place, you know, just me seeing it on my feed. So thank you to him. Make sure to go subscribe to this YouTube channel as he makes a lot of in-depth videos about Arkimoto and is invested in the company. Now for full transparency, I am not. And we're gonna talk about the finances of this company here, as well as how much they just raised, how much that's gonna help them, as well as some of my issues with the company that we've seen in the past, they're really kind of hitting the stock now, I would say, and kind of impacts the longer term vision of the company. So let's hop straight into it with the first bit of news, which is that ticker symbol FUV, Arkimoto got a new cash with $4.5 million convertible note at 10% interest. LG says here, though it has the character of a very short term, much needed liquidity infusion. Clicking on the original tweet for all the details, it says that it's about $4.5 million at a 10% interest. That means annual interest is about 10% for $4.5 million. Now, I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a, uh, you know, an accountant, so I can't break this down and tell you exactly what's going on, but I can tell you that about $4.5 million for 10% interest is incredibly high. This is incredibly high interest considering even the interest of a regular like home loan, right? A credit card loan. 10% relative to everything else is incredibly high. And the comment section really kind of reflects that. It says, does this really make sense? $4.5 million is like one half of the quarterly burn rate. This brings us to the cash burn of Arkimoto. Their total revenues for 2021, for a bit of scale and uh, you know context, they were up about 102%, meaning doubling in the year of 2021 to approximately $4.4 million. So their total revenue for that year is about $4.4 million. The incurred net loss loss for the company was $47.6 million, which was versus a net loss of $18.1 million in 2020. So their net loss well over doubled in 2021, but their revenue barely doubled, up only 102% versus that $18 million loss to $47.6 million. And that leaves us with a total cash position of $17 million in cash at the end of December 31st of 2021. Now, as of the end of March, meaning the end of Q1, we had about $7.5 million in the bank. That means that currently the company isn't running incredibly low on cash. And if you're any good at math, that means that their quarterly burn rate is about $10 million. That means that with, they don't even have enough cash right now to cover their expenses that they expect for Q2. So this loan, again, as LG said, this has the character of a very short-term, much-needed liquidity infusion. And he's likely saying here that it's just a way, I see it as a rather desperate move to get some cash to survive the quarter. $4.5 million is a small amount, 10% is incredibly expensive. This means that Arkimoto is kind of scrambling now. They're desperate to even survive Q2 because they don't have enough cash right now without tapping into much more debt. They have to find a way to finance the company and very, very quickly. This isn't me saying it. This isn't just me fear mongering. It's literally in their financials. It's what they've said in their earnings call. It's a very big deal. And that's why the stock is down 70% in the past year and 15% just today. Let's take a look right here. This is this seems a little bit unrelated, but it kind of speaks to a larger picture, something that I've talked about in Arkimoto for quite some time. When the stock was even just recently at $5 per share, I was saying, I don't want to buy, even at these depressed prices. Yes, it's a gamble, but I want to see the company kind of lay out their financial pathway before I buy in, because simply I have not seen them kind of do the things I want to do. Now, all the way back, January 25th of 2021, Arkimoto acquired Tilting 
Motorworks. This was for a combination of cash and Arcmoto shares in the range of $9.25 to $10.25 million. That means about $10 million is what they were willing to fork over for access to all the assets of Tilting Motorworks. This company had kind of one sole purpose. It's to create this tilting technology. They had a bit of revenue, but overall, the company wasn't going to be a big blowout to Arcmoto. So to keep in mind, for a bit of reference, the fact that they were willing to spend about $10 million, which is more than double their total 2021 revenue when they had a net loss of nearly 50 million in the year. It's not a great sign, right? They're willing to spend twice the amount of their 2021 revenue for a company that is, you know, making not that much revenue. And why does this happen? Well, let me share this clip right here from Meet Kevin's interview with Mark Fraunmeyer about Arcmoto and their new MLM. My take here, in my opinion, and think about this when you see the clip, is that Arcmoto, uh, the founder, Mark Fraunmeyer, is an incredibly nice guy. He's a super nice guy. And my opinion has been, and I've stated this in the past, that I think a nice guy cannot successfully run a major automotive company. If he wants to make a small company and sell a wonderful product that a lot of people love, that's great. That's excellent. But in terms of an investment, a company that can blow up and do a bunch of big things, I don't think this is the founder for that. And I know it sounds mean. It seems like a personal attack. But keep that in mind when you're watching this clip here. Here, You were just telling me this has to do with your acquisition of Tilting Motors. Talk to yes. me. This is the reason why we acquired Tilting Motor, which we actually started on this in October of 2020. Um, and it was... Uh, Pandemic times. Pandemic <laughs> times, you know, the crazy thing. So I've, I've known Bob Mile of Tilting Motor Works for many years. We were sort of uh, entrepreneuring our crazy three-wheelers up and down the West Coast. And we always were like, I like what you're doing. It's like, no, I like what you're doing. And we were always trying to, like, figure out how can we work together. Um, this and is the baby. This is the baby. Ah. Uh, I, 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 I mean, the, the, the true story of this is I, I saw a bearded hippie ripping by on a recumbent bike in October of 2020. And the uh, and I, the first thought I had was, I got to call Bob, because the an e-bike class vehicle is like the perfect collaboration between Tilting Motor Works and Arkimoto. So why am I sharing this clip? Well, there's a few things here to pay attention to. It's that first off, Mark was saying that he was trying to find a way to include uh, Bob also from Tilting Motor Works and just have a partnership, right? His goal was to include him and he was trying to find ways to do so. Now, when you have a friend and somebody that you respect and you want to acquire their company, you're not gonna pay a below uh, value price for them. You're not gonna argue back and forth and try to get the best damn price for your company to acquire them. Instead, you're gonna give them a massive premium, 9.25 to 10.25 million for a company that's not even gonna add millions to your revenue in 2021. Like. That's my problem with being a nice guy in this kind of industry, is that if you compare it to Elon, for example, Elon is willing to do whatever the hell he wants, uh, whatever it takes, really, right? He acquired Tesla in a pretty asshole way back in like 2008-ish, right? He basically pushed out the two CEOs, he did a lot of aggressive things, and even now with Twitter, he's willing to fire the entire management team and the board just to get his way and to have that vision for Twitter. Bit of a tangent, but my point here is that Arcmoto is willing to pay a massive premium for a company that's not going to pay itself off potentially ever to make this kind of vehicle. Right? And this vehicle right now, it's not going to help them. In fact, it's just been a way for them to spend money when they are struggling immensely. They have $7.5 million in the bank, not even talking about the cash burn this month, which is probably going to be about an additional $3 million. So they might have about $4.5 million in the bank right now. Now they're trying to get an additional four point five with a 10% interest. That's going to last them maybe another three, four months at best. This is a big problem. The company is far from profitable. Their losses are ballooning while their revenue is not keeping up to that rate of expansion. They're focusing on so many different vehicles and you can say like, no, there's only platform one and two. Sure, but if you can't ramp up platform one, why work on platform two? You probably have the demand to ramp up platform one, yet you're trying to find more demand by creating a new product. And maybe it's gonna have higher margins and it's gonna be a good thing long-term. But the thing is your stock is gonna get fucked short term down 40% of the past five years. Imagine buying a stock in the past five years, five years ago, and it's down 40%, 70% in the past year. When you are struggling with cash and just surviving financially, like 
you need your stock. That's why you're publicly listed. If your stock price is down here and you start diluting, everyone that believed in your mission, everyone that's been supporting your company is getting real hard, real hard. And the reason is that like they're losing a bunch of money. Not only that, but then you're diluting them, making their shares less valuable at the bottom. So my point here is that people that have a lot of money, right, and they start spending it and then they go broke and then they're struggling a lot, probably should have thought about that ahead of time. If you're buying Tilting Motorworks for t about $10 million a year ago when the stock market was favorable, when your stock was doing well and you had a lot of ability to kind of raise capital, right? Take a look at the chart. We're going to go back here all the way to uh, January of 2021. Right here. Basically, that was like the height of the market and they're throwing around $10 million. So it's like when the stock is going well, when money is easy, liquidity is out there, you're throwing around money and then you're going broke. That's literally what we just saw. This kind of person, nice guy, not very good with money and not able to execute very well. That's not a company I want to invest into. Could he be like my friend, for example? Absolutely, right? But all I'm saying is that like, he's a great guy, but in terms of a like management and a CEO that I truly want to invest into, not my cup of tea for those reasons. So thank you very much for watching today's video. If it sounded too bearish, let me know in the comment section below. This is just my view. I'm not trying to hurt anybody's feelings. I'm just honestly trying to express what's going on. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.